Nice. Oh, it's a gesture similar to the one you do to Rani, I believe. Very nice. The circuit of light which adorned Michaela's head as he returned in divine aspect, it has begun to, find in, to fade into nothingness. Slightly boosts intelligence, faith, arcane, while also boosting the power of Michaela's light. The circle was to be very foundation upon which Michaela's age of, age of compassion would be built, should it ever come to pass. Should it have ever come to pass. Like Elden Ring, I guess. <laughs> I've heard about it because it has the best poise to weight ratio of all items in the game. I won't lie. It's very good looking. Very divine, you could say. I'll be honest, after this DLC, it kind of feels like... <sighs> I just wish there were, they were. they said that there was another one in plans so we can, I don't know, maybe go through the divine gates. Not looking far. Ah, I just kind of want more. They made something amazing here, even though the mechanics of the bosses should be a little tuned down because this is ridiculous. But other than that, boy, was that an adventure. Anyway. As I've checked before, the wise man's mask, and I'm gonna read this again, but this is new and this is new. Obsidian Lamina, its signature weapon of pure but knight, Ansbach, a viciously keen and slender scythe made for the combat. The obsidian edge relies not upon trickery to fulfill its violent purpose. Through skill alone, the wielder can rip and rend through foes, sowing blossoms of red upon the battlefield. Gnostic Sickle Play. A finest evasive skill that creates space to maneuver, inputs dictate direction of the backstep. Followed with a strong attack to perform an advancing upward slash. Press strong, strong attack again to bring the weapon back down. I don't have stats for it, but we can probably see how it works. Okay. I hold it. This is some fucking Freed or German bullshit kind of thing. I like I like it quite a lot. And the other item was 
Furious Blade of Ansbach, Incantation of Ansbach, Pure Blood Knight, produces a Blood Flame Blade from the side of the hand, then lunges at enemies to cleave through them. Charge to increase the number of slashes, markedly different from Finesse Swordplay of the Dynast. This is an aggressive last resort of an incantation that gives rise to Ansbach Fearsome Reputation. The Soul of God and a Lord. In their childhood, Mikala saw Radan a lord, his strength and his kindness that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. And so Mikala made his heartfelt wish that Radan would one day be his king consort. More weapons. Concealed by a concealed weapon used by Theolier of a design generally favored by pose, poison wielders for dark and subtle pr purposes. Like Centrina who blossomed in the deep purple garden, a rich poison is secreted from within which sends its victim into an eternal sleep. Sleep evermore. Pierces the enemy deeply with a poison coated needle that delivers eternal sleep. If, you, if the follow up strike lands upon a foe who is already in the state of slumber or eternal sleep, it will deal significant damage. I think it's like. It's um, really as a fist weapon because. Because. Yeah. Because it's like. It's a fucking ring, I believe. Like. Tiny fucking ring. Uh, nice one. But do you get two? Yes, you get two. It's on a different finger, though. Well, a mask upon which uh, is carved a tranquil sleeping face. The silver hair is arranged in the same style as Centrina's, increasing arcane. Just once Theolier was granted the sweet repose of velvety sleep, the remainder of his days would be spent attempting to recapture it. A dark attire of those who wield poison in secret. A silver hair is arranged in the same style as uh, St. Trina's increasing arcane. Additionally, countless needles are sewn into the exterior, apparently for talismanic effect. Dark gloves, dark trousers. Nice. By the way, I forgot this is how the Gravebird head looks. It actually makes your neck like super slender. <laughs> This is this is going to look terrible on me because my character has very, uh, very small uh, arms and legs. So, and everything to be perfectly honest, Freya's probably going to look okay because it's the size of the fucking building. Yeah. Although you can see how much more mu muscular she was uh, than my character. Uh, Ansbach. Why is an old man? Quite awesome. Yeah, very cool. Oh, she's dead. I thought maybe she would have some words about it, but then again, they are part of the same being, so... Hmm. I heard about it. Saint Trina's life withered and fell as fleeting as the seasons. At her last, she left a single water lily. Slightly boosts max FB. Four points. Despite the velvety purple hue, the flower is in no way poisonous. It merely blooms in quietude. As powerful as her god counterpart, but still, two points for one, that's one of the highest. 